Creative Apprenticeships pilot project has come to an end. We've had 58 apprentices working at 34 arts and cultural organisations throughout Wales and they've all been very keen to make this project a success. The experience has been absolutely fantastic. I work here at the Swansea Grand Theatre and when the opportunity arose I just grabbed it with open arms just to get a qualification out of what I do. Not only has this benefited Andrew, it has totally benefited Swansea Grand Theatre. It has given him so much more responsibility, so it helped us as a whole department, to be honest. The training has helped me to be more focused in the usual skills I would use day to day in managing projects that I work on here, and to shape new ideas and be confident in approaching my director and actually giving him those new ideas. Apprentice Judy Dusky, Lawer, Pethe Technegol, and the theatres. How did you go the pub on now with Heavy Dan, of course? Rodri has come on really well over the year. He's actually now started to be able to lead on projects, manage casual members of staff, and he's played a really important role in the team. I think the apprenticeship has really helped me um, just to gain a greater understanding of all the other departments in the building, like the arts project, and just a greater insight to the cultural industry as a whole. The apprenticeship is very valuable for anybody who can get their hands on it. It's very difficult for somebody young to gain this kind of experience, especially in such a short time as well. We had around about 170 applicants, and the enthusiasm from all of those applicants has really made me personally consider how lucky we are to work in this industry. With an apprentice, I'm help you with the I think it's a good thing. 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 I think the training helps you appreciate what you actually do on a daily basis. So it helps you realise what you do as a routine is actually a skill and helps you develop further. It's made me more aware of the need to mentor, the need to coach. And while they're developing and learning, so too am I in a different capacity. Most people class theatre as dancing, singing, and that's not what I want to do. My aim is to be my manager, and I think that qualification backs it up really well and looks very good on your CV. I'm a big fan of apprenticeships anyway. I think they're a system that has been lost somewhere and we need to bring them back. An apprenticeship gives them those tools to be able to learn a trade. Being a mentor has been very good. I've enjoyed introducing Laura to the industry here, how we work, settled in very nicely and uh, worked well within the team. Another vodol be the apprentice and help you do the dusky flower, see and help you to so you know with. We really benefit from the apprentice being here. One, it's an extra member of staff at an affordable rate of pay. And also, we can build on skill bases. And we do find it difficult to find skilled casual staff in the area. So what we found is it's better to actually bring people through and train them up ourselves. And then we have a base to pull on for employment. Carly has made up her mind that she wants to be a stage manager. She's working in rehearsals with the Welsh National Opera. So this for her is the first step to getting proper paid professional work with a big company. The experience has been absolutely amazing. I've had experience with props, stage management, lighting, sound, all aspects of theatre. The best thing to offer her would be to actually to do the job for real and that's what she's doing now. She's actually the assistant stage manager on Barbara of Seville. She will be doing props and queuing and she'll be on stage in costume. I hope that the apprenticeship will build the foundations between education and working within the industry and hopefully I can take the experience and the skills that I've learned here into future career. People who might be feeling a little bit lost with something to do, I'd say this is one of the biggest opportunities that I've had so far. You learn so much and you meet so many people and it's just completely enjoyable the entire time even though it is incredibly hard work most of the time. I really love working at the Wales Millennium Centre and I think the Creative Apprenticeship could really open doors for me in the future. As it's been the first year I think it's got a lot of room to progress and whoever's lucky enough to be here next year will really enjoy it. So I definitely would recommend a Creative Apprenticeship to other employers. It's a very good cost-effective way of bringing in a member of the team. It benefits us, it benefits them and it's a brilliant scheme I think. We're keen to do more creative apprenticeships, both on the technical side and also in community arts and across the business as a whole. Um, we really value the process and the feedback from individuals is that they value the process as well, so it's mutual. Mm -hmm.